What did I tell you about eating these? Bridget! Michael! What? Guys, Michael has a problem with gummies and Starburst. This is Fruit Punch Starburst. Yeah, and I think that's the reason for your issues. No, it's not. It's so much sugar and chemicals. It's not even real food, and you eat them so much. Bridget, we don't know what my issue is. I don't either, but I can't imagine Starburst is helping it. It's gotta be helping. I feel like it is. Dude, this was a pound. You already ate a pound in like a day. That's, uh, excuse me, there's still half in there. So? So I didn't eat a pound. I ate a half a pound. Michael, that's bad. Oh, here, there it is. No! You just threw away $10. What? They were $10 a piece. Michael! I mean, for the single one. Piece? I don't have any others. Where are the others? Oh, a man here. Michael! That's all of them. You look like a liar. Okay. What? That's it, though. About four pounds. Okay. Um. Stop. You're not getting this. I one. just saw your eyes. That's the last one I got. I Don't just saw it. your eyes. Can I just have the last one? Let me see it. Michael! No! Oh my gosh! I'm so ashamed. I would be too. Oh my god. Are you crying? Don't look at me. Dave, I'm not judging you. I'm just trying to help you. Get the vlog started. Come on, this can't be good for you. What's going on, you guys? Get me on the camera here. Bitch, I was here. Right there. And today is Thursday. Today? It's Thursday, and you guys, today, I have a Throwback Thursday story one year in the making. And let me repeat that, because I think I stumbled. I have a Throwback Thursday story for you. It's really hard to say that. I have a Throwback Thursday story for you that has been one year in the making. I asked you last year to click the like button if you wanted to hear the story about how I got Grandpa's 55 Chevy. And you wanted to hear it, and I never told the story. Well, guys, today, we're going to tell it. This is, it's crazy. Let me tell you, it's a crazy story, you guys. It's totally insane, guys. It's really crazy, actually. It was almost like it was supposed to happen. Yeah, it was it like was meant, meant to be. It was meant to be. That's, that's seriously what it is, guys. It was meant to be. That's the Throwback Thursday story I'm telling you guys. Today is Thursday. And Bridget, you smell good for the first time in a week. Four days, Michael. <laughs> First time in four days. Jennifer just texted me and told me that he's actually sitting up in a chair, which he hasn't done that since October. So he's been asking to do this for a while. He's been asking and asking every day. He's like, I'm getting out of bed tomorrow. I'm like, yeah, dad, you're getting out of bed. Well, it turns out today he's getting out of bed. Gate sh Ow! I never do it on time anymore. I know. If anybody is wondering, by the way, if you didn't see the vlog yesterday and last week, I am still in severe, 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 severe pain. And you're cranky. You know, that's probably why your voice is out. From screaming? From screaming. You think? Maybe. Guys, I am in serious pain, so it's bear like with me. At this point. If I'm being a little rude, that's why. Oh my God! Bro, you want to chill? Oh! You're gonna, dude, she is sick. Oh my God. She's trying to shut the door. Nice try. Dude, you can't keep doing this. She's like trying to shut the door. Guys, if you're wondering, yes, I still am in severe, but she's gonna run me over. Stop it. Fine, I won't go then. The door just shut. She's gone. Yes, I still. Bro, she has lost her damn mind. I was just kidding. You think this helps me when I'm in severe pain? <laughs> 
We're going to grandpa's. You deserve it. Dude, look how many they sent. That is so cool. Like seriously, this person, John, sent us a stack of mail to the P.O. Box. We finally got around to the P.O. Box to check it and he sent all these. There's more. This is just a small stack of them. And I opened one of them and they're all the same letter. And they give a number and it says that uh, his friend Brianna, who is the most important person in his life, uh, would love a phone call from us. So, that's what we're doing. Let's give Brianna a call. Is her Twitter on there? No. <gasps> so we're sitting here on the phone with a youngin named Brianna. She has a friend named Tom. He sent us about 50 or 60 color-coded envelopes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, we have to open these because I don't know what it is. And he sent that she's a big youngin, she would appreciate a call, so that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm doing amazing. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for finals right now, but I'm at vlogs, like, I can't stop. I'm sick of addiction. Oh, that's, you de okay, you're gonna drop out of school or fail if you do this. That's not good. You're gonna have to, like, you're gonna have to study. That's so funny. I'm studying pre-law right now, so I should be, but I can't. Pre-law, wow. Yeah. Um, when I need wow. legal advice, I'll start calling you again. Yeah, she could be our lawyer. So how about this? How about finish the studying and then watch the vlog? Yeah. I want you to watch the vlog. I need the clicks, but you know, af you know after oh you study. God. Okay, maybe. Well, probably not, but I'll just do that. Great job, me. Oh my God, look at him. Oh my God. This is the smallest, cutest little puppy in the whole world. Precious. Oh man. He's so I cute. Take this, I gotta hold this thing. No, I gotta hold this thing. No, no, I'm holding him. I get to hold puppy. Aww. Oh my god. I love him. Hello, Anakin. Let's just take him. What do you think? Okay. Let me see it. Jenny, I wanna apologize in advance. When I spin this camera, we'll be home with Anakin. Okay. Oh yeah. I wish I would have gotten the full recipe, but it's Jennifer's secret, so we can't film it. But this is her cookies. Shannon would be so thrilled right now. The question is, are they Christmas cookies? Try it. All right, I know I wiped my butt, but. Oh. Not really. Too much brown sugar. God. You said add another third of a cup. I was messing with you, obviously. Off camera, I was like, hey, you should add more brown sugar. I need to taste it. It's good. It's great. A little too sweet. I'm joking, it's great. Cover this. Okay. Come on. Hard to do this in film. You're just gonna put them on there? All right, that last one's a little messed up. My apologies. Either way, cookies. Those are too big. What? Those are too big. And it's, look at that one. It's like a mute. It, it, it's, it's dysfunctional. It's a dysfunctional crap, cookie. Jenny. My man knows cookies. Well, I guess you're going to have to fix my mistake, aren't you, Jenny? I want big cookies anyway. You did a great job, honey. Thanks, I Bridget. I can't fix one of your mistakes. Which is what? You got beef? You know where I live. I'm kidding. Oh, Bridget was the mistake. <laughs> I'm kidding. Actually, Bridget's the best thing that, that could have ever happened to you. I can agree with that. And Jenny's the worst. Aww. Cover the lens. <laughs> Come on, give me something. Okay. Oh, Michael! He's not helping. Oh. Are you okay? Don't try that at home. Let me look at your hands. Oh. Oh, gosh. Here we go, folks. Jennifer, trying your cookie recipe. Mm. Yeah? She can make cookies. Guys, tweet Jenny. Tell you want to see this recipe. We got to have these cookies. Like, seriously. Let so, me try. Guys. Oh! Okay. Oh, my God, my 
Michael. Tell me that went on purpose. What? Tell me that went on purpose. You bit the freaking hell out of my finger. It wasn't on purpose. She's sick, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you can see a piece of meat. I didn't my do finger. nothing. You went, ah. Look, you've been a nightmare. If I happen so to you bite your finger. <laughs> Are you an animal? <laughs> no. Are you some kind of beast? I didn't do it on purpose. I'm just saying if I have no, no, no. to. It's like you worry about sticking your fingers in the mouth of a crocodile, not your girlfriend. <laughs> Guys, can, no, we get a oh can we get a replay of this? Guys. Oh! <laughs> There's no reason she had to chomp down so hard directly <laughs> on my finger. That was on purpose. It was a knob. Dude, I. And you can't prove it. I'm ready to go home. Okay. She's sick. Great cookie, though. You bit my finger on purpose. No, I didn't. Burned my hands, bit my finger. <laughs> I've already got this urinary problem. My side feels like I've been punched. All right, Nightmare, let's go. Going home, you guys. I'm going to go tell Dad goodbye. Guys, tell Jenny you want the recipe. Don't put your fingers near me, because I will bite it. You, my fingers near you? Or Good, right. Give me. <laughs> Good. Let me suck on your finger. Babe? Ah! Michael? We should go to the ER. No. Yes. You're like screaming. Ah! Michael? Stop. Hey! Get it out of here. I don't want to film this. Michael. Michael, oh my God, Michael! We need to go to the hospital if you're in this much pain, dude. Come on. I'm not going nowhere. Why? What's going on? This is bad. Exactly, let's go. It's gotten worse, I haven't told you. What? It, like, feels like I'm Peeing lava. What? It burns to pee now. Dude, this is not good. Please let's go. I can't even scream right because I don't have a voice. Michael, come on. We should go. What are they gonna do? I don't know. Take blood. Oh! Maybe I'm over dramatic. Maybe it's fine. I'm good. I puked three times. Three times? I can't tell. I've got to tell my throwback story. Screw the throwback story. I gotta tell it. No, let's go to the ER. Hurry! What? Okay. What? What? Give me a second. What is this? Uh. I just peed it out. What? Ew! Hey, man. I think it's a kidney stone. A kidney stone? Yeah, I think that's what this is. Seriously? Look, I googled a kidney stone, and that's what they look like. You peed that out? Yes. Is this what hurts so bad? Well, if it's a kidney stone, yes. I feel fine now. Are you serious? Yes, it's gone. So you've had like six weeks of on and off pain. Because of this? Because of that. This little thing? I heard it, it hurts worse than like giving birth. It's like a little bone crystal or something. And dude, I feel like you were giving birth. I felt like I was giving birth. Holy crap. I was peeing lava and now it's gone. I'm fine. Okay. Well, good. This has ruined my life for a month. <laughs> yeah. 
this <laughs> little tiny thing. Oh, it's so nasty. Why are you gonna like make fun of me? I'm not making fun of you. I got a throwback story to do. Oh. You can't be serious. Why are we doing this? This is your first kidney stone. Bro, okay. This is not like a baby's first tooth. How cute. Okay, so in this house, if our baby loses a tooth, we'll keep it. And if I get a kidney stone, we're gonna keep it? Yeah. We store kidney stones now? <laughs> It's adorable. It's your first kidney stone. You're sick. How? Because what? Uh, if you want to keep it, if it makes you happy, okay, <laughs> it is what it is. Next time I lose a clump of hair, I'll put it in the bag for you. All right. Sound good? You know, oh. what this, you know what this means? What? Uh, I get my Starburst back. No. Yes, I do. Michael, you can't eat a pound of Starburst a day. First of all, it's not a pound of Starburst. It's 10 pounds of Starburst. Okay. And you unrightfully took them from me. Michael. It wasn't the Starburst. I'm you looking out for you. You said it was a Starburst that was causing me, like, gut pain. I said not. it was sugar. In general. Can Starburst cause a kidney stone? Probably. It's sugar and chemicals. <laughs> We're getting out of here in just a few minutes, you guys. I just passed a kidney stone. That's what's been going on this whole time. The mystery is solved. I had a kidney stone. Man, everyone was saying it was like cancer. Scaring me. Hey, it was scaring me. I thought it was cancer. And you want to go to the hospital? What? I'm scared to go to the hospital. You know, next time, I'm going to just call 911. Let me just do the story. Guys, just so you know. I wanted to tell a throwback story about the time I got Grandpa the car, which was a year ago, and I wanted you guys to hear the story because it's very interesting. So, the story begins about a year ago after we did the prank on Grandpa where my brother breaks out of jail. And... We decided to go back to my house so we could film the intro for that video. And while we're on the way home, uh, I'm listening to the singer Lucas Graham. And in the song, there's a lyric where he's like, I had a perfect dad, I want to be the perfect son. And as he says that line, we pass by a 55 Chevy. And I was stunned. This is exactly what I was looking for. I, you know... <laughs> Earlier in the year, me and Bridget were talking, and we were like, man, I wish I could get Dad that 55 Chevy, but we couldn't find it. And all the ones that we did find were in, like, you know, Las Vegas and, like, places that was going to cost an ungodly amount to ship it, almost as much as the car. And I was like, this just, it's not feasible. And I didn't think I was going to be able to get him the car. And so, here we are, weeks out from Christmas, driving down the street, the end of November, and we see the 55 Chevy. The 55 Chevy is sitting there, and it's beautiful, and it looks like Dad's, and I was like, holy crap, let's get the number that's on the window. So I get the number, and I call the guy, and first comes this, like, haggling experience, right? Like, the guy calls, and I'm like, yeah, I'm calling about the 55 Chevy, and he has a thick New York accent that I wish I could do, but I can't because my voice is out right now. But, you know, he's, you know the guy answers the phone, yeah, what do you want to know about the car? And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just wondering if it runs. Does it run? Boy, this car jumps, it skips, it does everything but your laundry. And I'm like, ha, 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 I wanted to do my laundry. And he gets mad at me. You know what, son? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Call me when you know what the hell a car is. How about that? Do you even drive? I'm like, dude, I'm trying to buy a $40,000 car from this guy and he's owning me. You know, first of all, how much is it? Well, did you even bother to look at the price in the window, pal? It says $45,000, doesn't it? I'm like, uh, okay, he does not want to sell this car. This guy's a prick, right? He doesn't want to sell it at all. The guy's being abusive to me. I was going to hang up the phone and I'm like, yeah, but I was trying to see if there's any wiggle room. Any wiggle room? If there's any more wiggle room, I'll just throw the damn thing off a cliff. I'm like, bro, what is your problem? Like, what did I do to upset you? He hated me for some reason. I'm trying to ask questions, and finally the guy flubs out. He's like, you know what, son? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're asking questions that nobody would ask if they knew about this car. This is a pristine 55 Chevy. Does it run? Of course the damn thing runs. I wouldn't be selling it. Tell you what, call me back when you got a clue. And he hung up. <laughs> I get. I look at Bridget. I looked. I was like, dude, this guy just owned me. He ripped into my soul and he spit on it. The dude knows cars. And I offended him. I. I my point was, look, 
I knew I wanted the car, but I was like, hey, can he come down from $45,000? I'd like to see. And he wasn't budging. <laughs> Not at all. You don't know what the hell you're talking about, pal. I was like, I guess you're right, maybe. <laughs> I don't know a damn thing. I get to the guy's house and we're looking at the car. He comes out and he takes one look at me. I'm standing there and these like, I don't know what you would call them. They're like comfort shorts, basketball shorts. I'm in basketball shorts and like an angry grandpa t-shirt and I look like a bum and he takes one look at me and he's like, you can't afford this car, pal. Get out of here. Get the hell off my property. And I'm like, dude, why is this guy such an asshole? Like, dude, I've got the money. Now I wanted to get the car just to spite the dude. I'm like, yo, I can't afford it? Watch me. And I was kind of pissed. I was lit. I wanted to buy the car just to prove to the guy that I could. But in the end, it worked out. In the end, he's a nice guy. He just has this personality that you got to get used to, right? Like, really used to. Like, he was talking crap the day we signed the papers. I'm like, okay, just give me the keys to the car. I don't want to deal with this anymore. He's telling jokes. But either way... We still talk today. The guy is like, he's crazy, but he's awesome. And dad, I'm so happy I was able to get you the car. I love you so much. I'm glad you loved it. I was, it's one of the greatest things I've been able to do in my life. So dad, I love you. I'm glad you love the car. Let's do this outro. Well, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. There's a lot more to the story that I wanna tell, but like my throat. It's like killing me right now. That took everything out of me to tell that story, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. That's a lot of it. The guy was a prick to me, but in the end, I bought the car. He was a very weird guy, dude. He was, but he's also very nice. I know. We still, after knowing him. We still talk today. Dad sometimes will call him up. Yeah, why is the car doing this? And he'll tell him and he'll be an asshole about it. Well, maybe you're not running it right. I'm like, dude, Dad, <laughs> don't bitch at him, okay? This is just how he is. So anyway, going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. That's the story. I passed a kidney stone. Is that like the official sign that I'm old? No, anyone can get kidney stones. It's from sugar. Well, I'm shocked I hadn't gotten this sooner. Guys, right? that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Had a great day. Hung out with Dad. Dad, I love you. Keep fighting. It was really good seeing him sitting in that chair and talking. It was, it was a good day. Guys, getting out of here. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything but you us. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Not as much as me. Aww. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs>